Hey guys, it's Gina. Thank you for all my returning subscribers and all my new subscribers. Um, so today I am coming with you, I'm coming to you um, with a makeup haul from Walmart. So this is all drugstore makeup. Um, I did insert two pictures uh, after I did my makeup and I have really good lighting in my master bathroom. And that's where I took the picture so you guys can see because, um, I mean, like, I put the light behind me down here, but it really isn't, like, that great natural light. So I wanted to, like, show you guys a picture of everything with the natural light. But I do have all the makeup on, again, um, that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. So, guys, um, just a little background. I have not gone makeup shopping for myself in years, seriously. Um, it's been, like, you know... Dollar Tree or whatever's on clearance. I haven't really like gone and just picked out what I wanted. So I really felt like, uh, you know, I'm doing really good. I'm starting to feel really good about myself. And uh, I just felt like I deserved a little treat. So, um, you know, they say not to reward yourself with food. So I figured, well, you know what? I'm going to reward myself with some nice makeup that I'm, you know, really into. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'll ever do, like, the MAC thing or anything like that. There's nothing, I'm nothing against that. I think MAC makeup is great and, like, all the high-end makeup is awesome. I just personally, as a mom with three kids, I wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on myself just for, like, you know, some lipstick or whatever. So, and I personally think that there's a lot of great stuff out there in, like, the drugstores and whatever. So, without further ado let's get started so oh oh and guys I have ladies out there I have like a holy grail item that you definitely want to run out and get it's amazing 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 um, so I will show that to you at the end we'll keep that for the end so okay first thing I want to show to you guys is this and this is a physician's formula item and this is a powder palette and guys look at this packaging like how adorable is that the packaging got me I really think it was the packaging but it says for brunettes and of course you're looking at a brunette so I thought that this would be like so cute and like I don't know if you can see but it has like shimmer shimmer in it now when I bought this I kind of thought that I don't know if you can see like the pink in it so I kind of thought there'd be more of like a highlighting effect but this is more just um, like bronzer but I still really like it so um, it's not something that I would say like I'd have to have in my makeup bag but I'm excited that I have it so I think if you're a brunette you know give it a shot so and even if you're not I mean I think it I don't know I think that's just for the packaging purposes but oh I guess I should show you guys out of it and then it says brunette bombshell like how cute so and I think this is one of the more expensive items that I bought to be honest with you but I don't remember exactly. I think this is like 11 something at Walmart but yeah look at this it's pink it's so girly guys I love it so um, so there's that, and let's see, what else shall I show you guys? Okay, so this, guys, is really a new thing for me. Um, I picked this up at the Giant really Eagle, like actually. It. Now, I have always wanted to, like, define my eyebrows, but I never wanted to really spend the money on, like, a good product, so I always end up buying the cheaper ones and not liking them, and then just being like, oh, I'm never going to be able to define my brows, like, whatever. But this, this was um, $9, so it was, like, for me, I was like, uh, but I bought it anyways, and it was, um, it is called Define and Fill Duo by iStudio, it's Maybelline, I bought it in the color Soft Brown, which I'm really happy that I did, um, and it is amazing, guys, I really, really like this product. This is something that I want in my makeup bag all the time. Um, I used it. You can see it on my brows right now. And I really love it. I think it gives that definition that I'm looking for. But 
without looking like we you know brown chips or whatever. I saved all the packaging so you guys can see it. Um, because I hate like packaging and stuff laying around, but I'm like, no, I have to show it to my my subscribers. So okay, here it is. This is the pencil. It looks like that. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Whoops, I'll get that after. Um, so it has this right here, this kind of tip, and this is the um, powder. Now it's not powdery or anything like that, so I don't want you guys to get freaked out. But it has like the pencil, and it's almost like what like an eyeliner looks like. And you just go ahead and you like kind of define it with this, and then you rub it in with this like powder um, applicator, and it's like squishy, and it's just like you go like that, and it's perfect. I love it. I think it just pulls your whole face together. So this is definitely something, guys, that I think you should run out and get if you don't already have. So again, Maybelline. Um, mine is the soft brown in 255. So there's that. And then um, this is something that I saw on YouTube, and I probably wouldn't have gone with NYC unless I saw it on YouTube and saw how great it really looked on the girl that was showing it. Um, it's definitely, I love it. Um, this is definitely another item that I have to have in my makeup bag now. Um, so this is the N New York, or I'm sorry, yeah, New York Keller NYC High Definition Liquid Eyeliner. This is in the Keller 890, I think that's a 9, 899 Extra Black. Um, and it looks like this, guys. I'm going to do that thing that the gurus do there. Okay, yeah, NYC High Definition. There you go, you see it. And this is really, really nice because a lot of, this is a liquid eyeliner. A lot of liquid eyeliners, like, I've used them before and they, like, the cheap ones, of course. And they, like, drip, like, into your eye and stuff. And, oh, it's a whole big mess. So this is really nice when it has, like, this applicator. And I'm not going to touch it because I'll get black all over me. But it's, like, um, it, you know, like, soft. And it's, like, bendable. So you, this is all you do, and um, so you don't have like any of those like pumps, you know, that you pull out like a lot of the cheaper ones are. Um, now this wasn't very expensive. I want to say this was between like three and five dollars, um, no more than seven. I can't remember. I should have kept my receipt. I'm so sorry, guys, but you definitely want to get this. Now um, NYC had a different one that wasn't high definition. It was cheaper. I would say um, get the high definition one because it's just amazing and really wears great, lasts all day, no flaking and all that good stuff. So there's that. Next thing, I really treated myself and I got a Real Technique brush and I wanted one for my um, foundation and to kind of like perfect the foundation on my face. So um, I ended up with this one and I love it again definitely something I cannot live without now that I have it and it looks like this and I also like that it stands up by itself um, so like when I'm using it if I have to like get more product or whatever I don't like set it down and it's not you know getting my sink all messed up my vanity all messed up so it is amazing um, I was actually looking at an elf one and this kind of reminds me of like a stippling brush I guess that's what they call it but I was looking at the elf one and that one just looked so so much cheaper this one I think was $12 don't quote me so I was kind of like oh, I don't want to spend that on a brush but it looked so so good and it really is I mean it's just like perfect and it just like it perfects your foundation it really really does because I've always been one that just like uses my fingers which is fine and there's nothing wrong with that but this it just perfects your face so the next product also perfects your face and I think it's amazing so the other product that I wanted to show you guys was this Maybelline fit me and I love this. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I've never tried a matte foundation, but I think I'm in love. So 
It's uh, 220 and the color is called Natural Beige. And I think that it matches me perfectly. So I I just love this. There's I really cannot say anything bad about this. It wears all day. I've had this on literally since 6 a.m. Have not touched it up or anything. I think my face looks matte and poreless. So, um, you know, I forgot to put my matte powder on, which I actually just had in my makeup bag just laying around, and it seems to really, like, help. But um, my nose is running a lot, so don't count that because I've just been, like, <laughs> you know, having to deal with that all day. So getting over being sick, of course, again. So, anyways, guys. If you have not tried this, run out and grab this and try this. It is amazing. Cannot say anything bad. So, okay. So then the next product I got, and I know there's mixed reviews out there on this. Now, me personally, I absolutely loved it. Um, you can see in the picture, it really... Uh, you know, like just to find my lashes. I have very long lashes to begin with, so I find it very, very hard to find mascara that actually like holds them up and like keeps them like, you know, um, you know, like popped. Because um, I like like loud lashes. I like, like I want you to see my lashes. So that's just me personally. It's a personal preference, but um, this is an amazing product. Now, I've been wearing it all day, so I don't know if I... Product is L'Oreal, and it is the Miss Mango Rock. And the packaging looks like this. And I go swimming um, with my boys, like, every other day, so I did get the waterproof one. I kind of went back and forth, but I think um, when I get an, the next one, I won't do waterproof. But just because I'm always at the pool, I thought waterproof would be great. And I did actually wear this the other day to the pool with my family, and nothing. It didn't move, so it was amazing. Um, I got this in 389 Black is Black, and this is what it looks like. And again, this is if you want, you know, a lot of volume and a lot of length. Now again, I have really long eyelashes, so um, I really just want them to be defined and be able to like hold a curl basically. And this is really the only mascara I found that does that for me. So um, I just showed you guys the wand. It has like a different kind of wand to it, um, the spikes on it. So it just really brings out the lashes. So again, mixed reviews on this. My review is I absolutely love it and it's something that I definitely have to have in my makeup bag from here on out. So that is that. Okay, so one more product that I actually bought before we went to Disney, but I wanna let you guys know because it's makeup and um, I really was impressed with it. And it is the Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And it's just a real, real light, light coverage. Uh, like, almost like a foundation, but it's like a BB cream. But it is, it does kind of cover like a foundation. So that's why I say foundation. But vi just very sheer. But this was perfect when I was in Florida. And every time I go to the pool this is what I put on. Now the reason I bought this was because it's the medium sheer tint so it matches my skin tone and it's SPF 30. So it was a pretty high SPF in like a face makeup in the drugstore um, and I just love Maybelline. I'm always really happy with Maybelline. This wasn't that expensive. I don't remember what it was. I want to say like around eight dollars but um, guys, when I was in Florida, this was all I put on my face and I never burned not once in that hot, hot Florida sun in the summer. And um, also as well when I go to the pool. So this is definitely one you want to grab for your beach bag. Um, again, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB. And um, it's not going to focus there for you, but it, like I said, mine is the medium sheer tint. So if you have, you know... Uh, little more like all of you skin like me than you would want to go with this so anyways this was a great great buy just wanted to throw that in there and let you guys know 
Okay, so this is the Holy Grail item, guys, that I think whew, is just amazing. I'm so excited I found this. And, um, sorry, that was annoying me. Um, I'm so excited that I found this. And I really just think that every girl should have this in her closet. Um, you know, whatever, your makeup bag. I don't know. But, um, okay, so this is the Nods Facial Wand Eyebrow Shaper. Looking for something okay, that I so can kind of do at home. And I was going to get the Gigi Wax um, at home kit um, at Cosmoprof. But then I saw this, so I'm like, well, let me just give this a try. So let me show you guys how this works here. I'm going to show you what the wand looks like. And this was only like seven dollars in some cents, so so cheap. You get like 24 uses out of it. So I mean, do the math. That's like way better than ten dollars a pop. So if I can figure out how to open this, hold on, guys. Okay. So here we go. So it's like this, and it has like this tip. I'm gonna try to show you like that. Okay. So what you do is you go like this and the product comes out and you just go along and shape it literally like there's no fuss I mean I don't want to say that it's like accident proof or like mistake proof but I mean this is your best bet at home if you're gonna try to do your um, eyebrows also um, if you have like the lip thing or the chin thing that's something, thank God, I'm not dealing with as of now. But, um, you know, I know a lot of women do have to get that done as well. So then you're spending more at the salon. So I would definitely recommend this, guys. Another great perk about this is um, most at-home waxes you have to put in the microwave. They're a hot mess. You have to try to use them before they cool down. It's a whole huge process and usually it doesn't end well. So... Um, this, all you do is you go like this for like 30 seconds, warms it up, it's ready to go. Pop the cap on and you're ready to use it again. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this comes with the wand. It comes with cleansing wipes that you use before you um, start to kind of like cleanse the area and everything. And I thought those were great as well. There's only four of them though. So you know, um, after that, you probably have to, you know, just use like a washcloth or whatever. Just make sure that area is clean. And then it comes with 10 cotton strips. Um, they're calling them cotton strips, but this is water soluble. So what's amazing about this as well is the cotton strips. Um, when you're done, you go ahead and rinse them under hot water, like with the wax on them, with the hair that you pulled off and, uh, you let them dry you can use them again so literally you do not need to spend another seven dollars in some sense at Walmart until this entire tube is gone because you are just going to keep using the same cotton strips I just cannot even tell you guys how excited I am about this product how much I think this product works amazing and like just salon results seriously like when I got done I was just like where have you been my whole life nods or however you say it so anyways guys amazing product please let me know if you pick up any of these products and you try them out um let me know what you think good or bad i'm just interested and in in or I got somebody excited about something and it's just fun to go and be girly and you know get girly stuff and you know do girly things I just I had so much fun picking out all this stuff and coming home and trying it on I felt like it was Christmas so it was just a really um, great time and I really enjoyed it so I hope you enjoyed my haul I'm gonna shut up now I'm so sorry I always blabber on and on and on and it's just a really bad habit and an Italian habit as well so anyways guys Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video, which actually I'm going to be recording next because it is a Dollar Tree haul. Love you guys. Hugs, kisses, XOs, XOs.
Thank you so much. Bye. So also another thing that I did for myself um, to kind of just reward myself and something that I really had to do actually was uh, get my hair cut. So let me know what you guys think. I have it kind of like, it was scrunched today so now it's just kind of like falling in like my natural curls. Um, but I got a side swept bang. And I got a bunch of layers starting at um, my chin. Really loving the side sweat bang. I think that it really like frames my face nicely. And really something that I've been missing, I think, with the other haircuts that I've gotten. And I was kind of like trying to look at my face shape and I think I'm an oval. Or not an oval, um oblong. But then some of the girls at the salon said that they thought I was oval. So I don't know, I think what throws me off the most is my cheeks, but the oblong um, shape, they said that it looks really good with the side sweat bang, so I went with that. So I'm really happy with it guys, and you know, I just thought I'd tell you.